mistakes I can't live on this way We both were the same Felt Hello the and same welcome to the Pages with James Lodge Jr. I'm James Lodge Jr. That's right, amazing. Here on JLJ Media, and I'm the JLJ of JLJ Media. Say that five times fast. So I am here. I introduce you to people who are doing wonderful things and get in between, haha, uh -huh, name of the show, and talk about what they're doing. And I'm a singer songwriter that I know personally. Uh, so I guess I'm glad to, I like to bring my friends and family on here to promote them because she is putting out some really good music and she has a new, a newer EP called Libertine. And one of the songs I've been just, just been praising it over and over again is called Twin. It is in my Spotify rotation. Over and over again. It's just a beautiful song. She's a songwriter. So we're going to talk about coming up with these songs, the lyrics, the whole, the business. She's all the way over in the UK. I'm here in Los Angeles. So we're transcontinental or whatever the word is. <laughs> I want to welcome Dylan Allura. Hi, Dylan. Oh, hi, James. <laughs> uh, so now, now, Dylan and I know each other through her mom and her uncle. So, so those are those small words. So shout out to them. We're going to shout out to them. Um, but she's an artist on her own. And I want to ask you a question. I think I, I think I asked you this when I actually met you a year ago. Um, but did you always know you wanted to be an artist? Well, I've always done music on performing. In terms of being an artist, I think I decided I wanted to be an artist like a couple of years ago, maybe like I'd say like five years ago, five, six years ago, where I was like, okay, because I before I wanted to do songwriting, like be behind the scenes. I didn't want my face like, you know, out there. And then I was like, okay, you know what? I, let me just do my own thing as an artist. And so I think that was like a couple, couple of years ago, I decided to be an artist. Now you also have family in the business, so to speak. There in the business, so you so you're always just surrounded by it. So you're right, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, are you an introvert naturally? Are you like shy? Oh, <laughs> Would you say that? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm introverted, like especially when I first meet people. But with the people who know me, they know I, I just don't stop talking. Like right. I, you wouldn't even imagine. I talk too much. I run around. I scream. I dance. I'm jumping off the the walls. But that's only with the people that I know, like yeah. really well. Yeah. Um, but like with people I don't know too well, yeah, I'm definitely introverted. So with most people, yeah, I'm an yeah. introvert. Well, I was just saying how you at first were like behind the scenes person, and actually that's where a lot of the money is, folks. It's behind the right. scenes. Mm -hmm. We and I both know that. So, um. So songwriting, when did mm -hmm. you first write, start writing songs? I started writing songs when I was quite young. I would write like little songs on my little phone. Like when oh. we had, when was I like, I'm 26. So like when I, maybe like 15 years ago. Um, and I would write these songs about kind of like school and friends and like that kind of stuff, like a crush like really silly thing <laughs> but like I, that's what I was doing like I was so that was like I'd say when I was like eight nine ten that's when I was writing songs um and then I started producing like when I was 16 um alongside the songs because I was like I have these songs but I have all these sounds that I want to put yeah. into so I started doing that when I was 16 um and yeah so it's been a long time yeah, I've always been writing and like poetry and coming up with stories as well. So, yeah. So you're a storyteller. I mean, you're a storyteller. Yeah, you're I guess you could call it. Yeah, storytelling. It is yeah, storytelling. It is. Um, it's funny that you say you. Were, when I first started writing songs, we didn't have half phones. I mean, it was like I was on. Yeah. Like, oh, you said a fucking a phone. Oh my god, I feel old. Um, but no, it was about phones. <laughs> what was it? Was those flip phones? I don't know. Uh, one of those sidekicks, one of those sidekicks, little things. Yeah, not um, yeah. I remember all those phones, all those different phones, Blackberries, all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But no, but it's no, it's funny because some people are just singers. They just sing. You give them a song, they sing. Mm -hmm. But you're like, yeah. you have this behind the scenes of coming up with actual songs, melodies. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, I, as a person who writes songs also, I know it's not easy. Sometimes it seems easy. Sometimes it's easier and some aren't. When your songs come to you, do they come to you in pieces? Do they come to you all at once? I mean, how does it kind of, how do they come to you? I definitely say it's probably in pieces. Like, um, 
I usually get these ideas or like words that come out, start out to me in the day or anywhere. Um, and then I write them down. And then that might be like the theme of a song, um, <clears throat> like twins. So like I, I had this idea of like a twin and like the idea of having someone close to you. Um, and then I just use that like as a, to kind of build on the song. Like that's okay. That's what I'm going to make it about. So it kind of comes in pieces. And then I pick up little phrases like every day, write them down. And then I might put that in one song if it fits well. So yeah. that's usually how we do it. Um, well, with Twin, it did work. It works. I mean, it totally works because I, I can see it's, it's, that's the title is Twin, but it's about being close. Right. It's about being close. Right, right. So I totally got mm -hmm. that. Um, mm -hmm. Who are some of your, some of the artists, because you were saying you're writing songs, but we'll say, well, say at this point, 10, 15 years or so, who are some of the artists that you like that you were growing up that you admire as songwriters and singers? Um, there's a lot of like old when I say old like people <laughs> what I'd say like from the nineties. No, like from the nineties. That's why that, that, that was thirty. That was thirty years ago. That was thirty years ago. Yeah. Older, <laughs> older like artists and then current artists. Yeah. So I always say I'm in terms of like artistry. I'm inspired a lot by Michael Jackson. Okay. In terms of vocals, I'm in, I'm inspired a lot by Mariah Carey. Okay. Um. And then songwriters, I like Quincy Jones. Um, and then I look up to a lot of like producers, I like Pharrell, I like Timberland. Um, and then I like Sia yeah. as well, as a, she's like such a strong like pop songwriter. Yes, she is. Um, those are some of the ones that come to mind. Um, it's funny, yeah. you pick people, though, the ones you've picked, they also write songs, too. Mariah Carey writes her songs. Right, right. Songs. So, yeah, you, mm -hmm. you pick folks that are singer-songwriters. Right, right. Yeah. I just like just like good music. Just heartfelt. I like a lot of heartfelt stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so you have some songs in the past, like Angels and stuff, they're very heartfelt. Right, you know, right, yeah. You know, stuff from the heart, you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just me. That's just how I am, what I, what I like. Really, that's really great. I uh, yeah, no, I like I said, I've been listening to you. She's been around for a while, folks. So I've been listening to some of your songs, and yeah, some of them you can tell they come from a very strong, deep place. Mm -hmm. um, do you ever worry about putting out songs like that? Do you ever get like, should I put that out? So I know like, is, is it too personal? Has any song been too personal to put out, or no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I did. I mean, there was one song that was going to be on the um the album. Oh, sorry, the EP, yeah. and it was quite like deep, and like I was like, this might be a bit too heavy, um, and I'm like trying to cut like right now I'm trying to like build my well, like kind of showcase my sound and like yeah. my themes like in my music. I was like, maybe this is a this is might be something for the future where I'm like, you know, yeah. um, now it's a bit too heavy, I think. So sometimes, yeah, I think it just doesn't, it might not be right for right now to release something. So I just park it to the side. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. that does, makes sense. And that's the thing about music. It's like, especially when you do EPs or albums, mm -hmm. you're trying to build a journey or you're right. trying to showcase a part of you. Right. So it's, it makes sense that this, well, this song's not really, it's, if it's, it's yeah, if it's like too much, yeah, then it's like, we'll just leave it for now. It'll show up later. It'll show, yeah. So it'll, exactly. it'll, 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 it will tell you where it needs to go. The song will exactly. tell Exactly. When the time is right, yeah, it will yeah. come through. I, I love that. Um, so with the songs you did choose for Liberty, mm -hmm. what was the process of choosing them? Why Why these songs? So um, I kind of wanted to showcase some different uh, moods and genres of it um because I I say I'm quite multifaceted in that sense of like I just like to delve into different genres so um it's kind of like a journey I guess of like like about a breakup I guess the EP is kind of like a breakup <laughs> album so yeah. it's kind of going from like different like phases and like sides of breakups like all the different things and motions that happen so it's kind of like 
a little flow of that um kind of like taking you through the the roller coaster of emotions yes um in a re relationship so i just kind of picked songs that show that very good i want to ask you a question mm -hmm. because you, you brought up a, a second ago i actually want to ask you a question about this it's pop music gets a bad rap sometimes it just means mm -hmm. popular music. It's all it's all it really means. It's popular music. Right. But I guess it's like, and I know there are artists out there who are like championing pop music now, especially like like Kylie Minogue. Um, there are people like that who say oh, pop yeah. is a dirty yeah. word. It's actually pop music is great. It's just popular music. Right. So how do you yeah, how do you feel about that? Um about it. I think it has its its place like in society. Like it's a music that's palatable to everyone or to the average person or the majority. Um, not everyone can listen to metal or hip hop or <laughs> classical. Like there's like, they, they're very like for a certain type of person who lives a certain type of way, it's a different lifestyle, whatever, but pop is like for everyone, I guess. Um, and it has its place. Like I don't judge any genre of music. Yeah. Um, and then pop is just like, I like, I like a lot of pop music. Um, do you like um, the, do you like the new Kylie song Padam Padam? Do you like that? It's played everywhere. I, she, Kylie Minogue. Yeah. Do you like I it? I didn't know she had a new song. Oh my I god! I don't actually song. like. Well, I don't like Kylie Minogue. <laughs> <What's laughs> it's, it's, it's everywhere. That's what I'm saying. It's just everywhere. It's a okay. pop song. It's everywhere. So. Okay. No, I haven't. I haven't. I don't really listen to radio though, so that's probably why I haven't oh, okay. heard it. Okay. Yeah. Well, then, how do you find out about new music? Do you just go online? I mean, I guess it's everywhere. I guess you go on YouTube. Yeah, it's usually yeah, usually online. Um, yeah. I mean, people my age, a lot of us kind of like look through TikTok or through Instagram yeah. or yeah. through the streaming platforms. Um, but I kind of keep to my people that I like that I've liked for years, and but I'm always seeing who's new, like who's coming out, like what new artists are coming out even if I don't like them I'm still gonna listen and see what yeah. they're about now you do like hip-hop stuff too right you like that stuff too right I think I'm gonna be talking yeah about that's me that's the kind of like the main stuff that I listen to like on a day-to-day -day but it's so basis. funny you like hip-hop but you hear songs like twin and angels like some songs they're not mm -hmm. hip-hop they're very they're very beautiful lush yeah. productions it's, I love it. I love yeah. it. I mean, even and, yeah, with Twin, we even we kind of like had a little bit of influence, like with some kind of like trap beat vibes. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I mean, Travis Scott is one of my biggest inspirations. Okay, I've been like a massive fan of him and Ke like Kendrick Lamar. Like, there's so many that I love. Um. But because my who I my vibe, I guess, whatever, <laughs> what I sing, what I sing is like not that at all. No, not so at all. Not not at all. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> so there's not like that much influence in it because it's like, how can I, I can't just my own thing, but I still um, like admire and embrace yeah. um, hip hop because it's like, that's what I listen to like pretty much every day. That's very cool. That's cool. That's, cool. that's cool. It just means you're versatile. That's why that's all I want to bring up. It's like, you like this kind of music, like there's someone who like metal, but they sing love songs. Like you could do both. Mm -hmm. you, you can like yeah. metal, hip hop. Exactly. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you were just in America running around. Did you have, did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, she's over here. We're trying to get her over here. Your mother's like, over here. So did you have, did you have a good time? <laughs> yes, I did. I, I love coming to America. Like I feel like there's so much to learn there about like life because it's just a whole different way of life and um I have a lot of friends there and family so I feel like it's like my second home being over there so yeah. it's a yeah, lot of fun. I said the opposite sort of before we came on the show I've never been to London so I want to and I'm an Anglophile mm -hmm. I love I love stuff British so I want to see right. when I go there and spend time there there's a lot to see. Yeah, if you like the British stuff, then like there's so many like Buckingham Palace and London Eye and all these different yeah. things. Big Ben. There's so much to see. Yeah, so very iconic stuff. Iconic. Yeah. Stuff. yeah, very iconic. Yeah, iconic. I love that stuff. 
So, I mean, so where would you like to see your career go? Would you like to, I mean, obviously continue songwriting. I mean, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, folks, you're a songwriter. Take your songs. Bigger some money. You'll get some songs. But also, do you want to continue being an artist too at the same time, like doing, you know, songwriting and producing and artists? Would you do all three? Yeah, I mean, I've kind of stepped away a little bit from producing because um, I'm trying to be a bit more collaborative and work with other people because I've been working by myself my whole life pretty much. Like, I've just always liked being in my own zone and I'm trying to kind of bring people in to my space um so I do see myself building on production I'm trying to learn more about production so I can have my own input into what we're doing with with other people but um yeah just building on the artistry I have so many things that I want to put out so many different visuals songs sounds there's just so much I just have to kind of bring it all together like bring the vision together um but that's what I'm trying to do so just keep pushing it and keep making it better and better and getting it out to as many people as possible well now I'm introducing you to my audience so everybody is <laughs> killing you little is her audience well again now one, of, one of my last questions for you is how would you describe your voice and sound I mean, in general. I mean, the songs are different kinds of songs, but like, if you were like, "Well, who does she? Who does she remind me of?" I hear, I hear. The, what are some of your voice influences? Like, what do you? Who you know? Who does that like? Well, someone the other, I don't know, other week or something, um, did a review of one of my the EP, and they kind of said, um, it was like a trip, something called trip hop, trip hop, trip hop. Trip what hop. Is it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, that's it, because, like, I love, like, Massive Attack. Um, they're one of my biggest, like, influences. I always forget about them. But I love that sound of um, just kind of, like, do it's doing its own thing and it's bringing all these different um, elements to it. Um, so I would say that's kind of one part of yes. me. And then I kind of, like, I say a lot of my, like, lyrics um are kind of introspective um a little melancholy um and so and they're oh, kind of she's smiling she's good she's okay i know i know i'm always smiling it's i'm okay yeah, but um <laughs> but and then they're kind of a lot of them about love and life so i say like a lot of i like lana del rey a lot there you go, yeah. she has that kind of vibe of like just being sad and like uh ever since she came out which was I don't know like 10 years ago when I was yeah. like a teenager so yeah. I, that kind of spoke to me and I was like that's how I feel like I just felt like a, I was um resonating with her so I would say like she's another inspiration um and then with the voice I like Sade a lot yes. um and some people say that I remind them of, uh, well, I, yeah, I remind them. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think my mind is going crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of like a soulful voice. Yeah, um, I agree. But for me, yeah, I just kind of like, I sing and I write whatever comes to mind, really, however I'm feeling. I try not to think too much about, oh, is this cool or is this um trendy or is yeah. it um I just try and do whatever's like called to me and yeah. yeah if people people like it and people some people don't get it and then some people really like it so it's kind of like the people who like it will gravitate towards it so that's the most important thing to me yeah I speaking of master tag I would say you remind me of one of their singers Martina Topley Berg she put up some okay super yes she has some solo albums that are the bomb. They're so good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, another artist you remind me of in America, her name is Ama LaRue. Um, okay. Another, another, you know, another one of us, uh, us, us black folks. She was a group called Groove Theory back in, back in the day. Okay. You know, I think I, yeah, I've heard of Groove Theory. Yeah. You guys, yes. Yeah. So you guys, you have that, you have that soulful sound that's modern, but also mm -hmm. it has thoughtful lyrics and your voice is very smooth. So I think you remind me of them. 
So when you said master type, I was like, exactly. That's exactly that's where I was going. Yeah, I just love it because they're kind of weird, but they're like everybody loves them. Like yeah. they're just yeah. cool, they're weird, but they're cool because they're just doing what they think is cool. Hey, when Shade like came it. out, she was so different than anybody else. She came out was just like right. in the eighties. Was like we were like, who is this chick? We loved her. Right. She there's no one like her. No, it's just no one like her. Yeah, Nobody. that's Nobody. what I like. I like people who are just. I kind of think the same with Lana Del Rey. There's no one like. Uh, like when I like that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's what inspires me. Like that, I do like that. Well, yeah. Dylan, thanks for being on the show. These EP is called Liberty, me. and mm -hmm. I tell you, listen, I'm telling you, the whole EP is good, but the song that I've just been pushing is Twin. That's my song. Yeah, and that's my favorite song as well. So I is. get it. It's, <laughs> so, it's so good. But mm -hmm. Liberty is the EP. You can get it anywhere. Where can they follow you, Dylan? If they want to follow you online. So um, I'm on every platform every social media platform and it's still in allura on everything she is literally she is it's made easy for her. you can find her it's very easy exactly that's how yeah yes. that's how i'm reading <laughs> <laughs> and i'm james Lott, you can follow me everywhere at james Lott jr and what you pages is on facebook uh please support indie artists please support art it's very important to our culture they say it's also important to our smarts and our brains. So if there's kids in school and they want to sing or write songs or play instruments, please encourage that. That's very important to our society. So I'm always about the arts. And in the artists are good. Big artists are good too. But support us. Support mm -hmm. her. Um, they're not putting out good music that means something. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>